Okay, good evening everyone. Today we are going to record our last group discussion, which is group discussion 6 for LEX 2003, movie review group 77. And the agenda for today is to discuss the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp. But before that, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Marlene Alia Binti Zamlis, matrix number 208312. My name is Chan Yaman with the student metrics of 206874. My name, my name is, is Nafitra Bumayaku and my number metric is 205956. My name is Sharina Najwa. My metric number is 205470. My name is Tira Wadi. My metric number is 206344. My name is Nur Ayuni Binti Zahari. My metric number is 206154. My name is Mani Mithi Rahman and my metric number is 207279. My name is Mama Anis Biazmi. My metric number is 205483. Uh, my name is Irfan Denish Wirostam with metric number of 206719. Uh, my name is Kuzara Mithi Kuzan and my metric number is 205916. Okay, let us start our discussion. Uh, as everyone has already seen the movie, I would like to know uh, what are your thoughts on the movie? Okay, is there anyone who would like to start first? Okay, maybe I should start first. Okay, in my opinion, the movie was quite enjoyable. It had a lot of funny scenes, comedy scenes throughout the movie. Therefore, it gives a nice balance of action-packed drama and the gut-busting comedy. The movie is also not too intense, which is nice because the story flows nicely and there's not too much things happening all at once. And lastly, the ending was very well written as it, it leads up very nicely to the uh, to the movie that we previously watched, which is the Avengers Endgame, Avengers Endgame where Thanos snaps his finger and like half the population disappeared, including Hope, Janet and also Hank. So overall, I would like to say this movie was a hit. Okay, I'm next. Well, um, for me personally, I'm not really a uh, science fiction movie fans, but um, after I watch Ant Man movies, I found that um, Ant Man movies had relate with other Marvel movies, and I believe it's um Civil War, right? Um. <clears throat> So after I watch Ant Man, I watch Civil War because I want to know like why why um Hank Hank Pym like so really mad on um what is the Ant Man name? I forgot. Ah uh. uh, yes, Scott. Yeah, Scott Lang. Why? Why he's so mad? And then I watch uh, Civil War. After that, I watch Avengers because they are related. And then after that, I yeah, I watch Avengers. I think all of it already. And then, um, so I think it's a really good tactic from um Marvel directors and producer because. Uh, if because um, when we watch one movies, we have to watch all the movies that Marvel produce because we have to know, like we have to know and understand more about the storyline of all the mo all the Marvel's heroes, the background of the heroes, and something like that. So I think it's a really good movies. Yeah, that's it. Well, for me, um, I have to agree with Marlene also because this movie is a combination of um, action, science fiction, as well as comedy. And I really enjoyed the part where, where um, Scott's character as Ant-Man was very um, comedic and, uh, and funny. And um, his, his character just made the whole um, movie less intense and um, he made it a very enjoyable movie to watch. And um, not only that, and and I think, um, and uh, I'm not sure whether you guys noticed this, but towards the end of the movie, Stanley was actually one of the actors inside the movie. Um, Stanley, who uh, who was the 
creator for uh, Marvel, the the characters it, in Marvel. Yeah, if I'm, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, all the Marvel movies got a Stanley. Actually. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. didn't notice, but but yes. but in this in this in this movie, I I um spotted uh Stanley in 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 one of the scenes, so so that was pretty um pretty exciting, yeah. Other than that, um, um, I find um Scott's daughter Cassie was a very fun character, and and um, if I were to pick my favorite from the movie I think I would pick Cassie yeah because of her character of being so so supportive of her of her father yeah thank you uh, okay for me uh, it's actually this is my first time watching this movie and what I can really say about this movie this movie is just nice it's a good movie and fun to watch but what I really like about this movie is the visual effects uh in this movie especially the quantum uh quantum what quantum realm uh and 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 as we know this movie is one of the marvel movies so no wonder the visual effect in this movie is really great and i also love and, and i also like the visual effects like cars and the lab that can be changed into the small size. I uh, it's really satisfied satisfying to see that things in this movie. And uh overall I think this movie is fun to watch with family and friends and it's uh, and I enjoy watching this movie. Okay, I will go next. I'm the same with Sharina. This is my first time watching this movie. For me this movie is interesting and mostly funny. Even though the genre for this movie is science fiction, but the amount of jokes in it is quite a lot. And I can't stop laughing while watching this movie. Among the scenes in this movie, I can say that my favorite part is when the character Luis and his friends arguing with the evil scientists, you can say that. They're arguing about the truth serum. They still want to call the serum as the true serum, even though the bad scientists said no. And I find that scene hilarious. And yeah, this is a good movie, and I really recommend this if you want to watch it with family or friends. Thank you. Um, maybe I will go next. Um, as for me, uh, previously I. Previously, in the previous discussion, I said to you guys that we should watch a comedy type movie. So I recommend you guys to watch Toy Story 4. But after I watched the Ant Man and the Wops, I think we, should, we choose the right movie to watch because this movie is really fun to watch. It contains a lot of knowledge, um, funny, funny moment, romantic moment, and of course, there is also a fighting scene. So, um, I think this movie is really best. So, if I were to vote this movie from 1 to 10, I think I vote 10 because it's really best. Yeah, this one. Okay, hello, uh, maybe I go next. Uh, so, <laughs> I can agree with Ayuni uh, on the truth serum scene because, um, yeah, since uh, that that friend of Scott, uh, and since he got that true serum, and and then one of the the bad guys, they asked him uh, on on to about I don't remember what, but <laughs> that guy just went on and on with his stories that like, um, he did not went straight to the point, <laughs> and then all his friends they said that uh, once you once you press play and uh, you you need to listen until the end uh, and then um, I really love the scene that uh, Scott he really needs to uh, he was under house arrest uh, where he needs to spend his time for I think to complete three years uh, three years or something uh, and then uh, he was like <laughs> doing really childish stuff 
that the even the end, the end that Hank Pym programmed to replace him. Uh, what? Uh, there was one this one scene. Uh, Hank Pym commented on his activities that, "What are you, a kid?" Uh, so I think that's all. Okay, for me, uh, the story is quite simple, mostly because the story focuses on the character and the report is easy to follow, but also it's not really predictable. But I think there's some part that are very not illogical, and and when there's part, um, when it's very illogical, they start to throw about uh talking about quantum and quantum is there to explain. So I think that's quite much um a uh, lazy writing, but I think most of the story is good, very simple. I think. The story is very en enjoyable for the family, but also I think the quantum gain should be as elab elaborate. I think it was it uh, completely was on the quantum. I think they should uh, show more of the realm in the outcome at the Avengers more. Thank you. Uh, my opinion about the movie. Uh, for me, I think it is a well, very well written movie. Um, it was all around great because I believe this movie was a science fiction movie, but it has all of the elements. Uh, it has comedy, it has romance, it has action, and it's also very educational. And I don't know. Uh, and also, uh, I also have to agree with Ayuni. <laughs> uh, the scene of the trip serum, uh, it made me. It made me laugh. Uh, I believe uh, the the actor Michael Pena. I think I really love him. He has starred in many uh, comedic films, and I love all of his character. And yeah, I think it is very well with the movie and. Uh, one thing that I don't like about the movie though that just like Tiravadi said, you won't understand fully uh, about the movie unless you have watched other Marvel movies. So that's kind of, it's a bit of a hassle to me lah. So yeah, but overall it's a great movie and I enjoyed it and I will watch it again. Thank you. Okay, so for me, uh, actually, firstly, I didn't have any talk to these movies because I didn't really like Ant-Man. However, after watch these movies, overall, I enjoy with it, especially uh, the action part. And it's also funny when the Ant-Man uh, sometimes can be small, big, and especially when Ant-Man uh, being a kid and he wears the the clothes of the kids at the school, so I think it is a fun. That's what I mean. Okay, so from all the characters in the movie, I would like to know which one has caught your attention. Um, maybe uh, for me personally, I like Louis because he is just a very person, a very funny person in general, and I think you can all agree with me, with me like just like uh, you just said previously. Um, the scene where they injected the, um, okay, the truth serum into him was hilarious, and but other than Louis, I also like Scott because you can see his character build up from the first movie to the second movie. You can see he went from uh, robbing houses and setting a bad example to his daughter, and uh, to finishing his probation uh, splendidly. Yes. Uh, so what about uh, other, what about the others? Well, to me personally, um, I think I answered the question way too early just now. Um, my favorite um, character from the movie would be Cassie, would be um, Scott's daughter, because she is the most um, supportive um, person in Scott's family. And, and I think um, the scene where 
um, where it was only uh, where it was only the scene between the father and daughter. Um, Cassie told told her father that um, she could be his uh, sorry that she could be um, her father's partner one day, and I find that so um, and I find that moment very beautiful. And another character that really caught my attention was um, Ava. Um, the um, Ava, who is the uh, who is the, the constantly ghost. phasing in and out. Yes, the ghost. Um, yeah, I just find her character very um, interesting because um, she needed someone or perhaps something to to keep her from dying, which is to extract the quantum energy from um, from Hope's mother, and um, and. And one of the lessons that I learned is that um, you shouldn't be selfish when you, when you, you shouldn't be selfish to fulfill your own needs because in order for her, in order for Ava to survive, she has to um, extract the quantum energy from Hope's mother, which could also hurt um, the mother herself. So yeah, that could be the lesson for us. Thank you. Okay, um, for me? My favorite character is the same, like Marlene Louise, played by Michael Pena. I just find his character very funny, and I like the way he tells stories, especially during flashbacks. Every time he tells a story, the character in his story will talk like him, and it's very funny. <laughs> and you know, the way Louise talks is very fast, and yeah, I find it interesting. Um, another character that I like is also Cassie because she's cute. Yeah, that's all. Okay, it's me. Um, for me, my favorite characters, of course, Louis, because he's a very funny guy. Um, the second that I like, um, who? Uh. I forgot his her name lah. Um, the daughter of Hope. Yeah, her Hope. Name is Hope. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Hope. Mm. Even though she is a very serious woman, but uh, in the same time we can watch, we can see that she is very independent woman. Independent, yeah, independent woman because she can make a decision like, um, she can make her own decision without need his uh, her father's advice. Uh, yeah, um, other than that, I think, um, Scott. Scott Lang because of um yeah like who who said that that Mer I said that um uh, from he is a bad guy before and then after that he become a good guy so it's very good uh, progression um and he he do his best to to be a best father for for his daughter so I think. It's a very nice example for us to be followed about. And um, yeah, that's it. Mm. Uh, my favorite character is Hope the, the Webs. I agree with Tiravadi said that she's very independent. And she also very a uh, serious person. But I think even though she has a very uh, serious character, but she still nailed the... Uh, apa? The uh, the chemistry between uh, her and Scotland is very is very good, and she's very uh, do very a good job on her acting, and I think she outshine uh, the character of all the actor in uh, the and and the webs, and Scotland is also very funny character. I think she he nailed it. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, but for me, I like. But for me, I like Bill Foster in this movie, because I, I like how because he willing to help uh Eva, so that Eva can be, uh like, can be normal again, and 
I also think he is a very responsible person when he took Eva uh, right away from the incident and take uh, and take a good care of her. And I also like how he always uh, told Eva that told Eva that he will help uh, he will help her no matter what. And I also but what and I also like how uh, uh, and yeah, uh, this, this, uh, and that's why I like him. Okay, we'll begin. Okay, then. so I will go next. Um, 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 um. Uh, so my favorite character for this movie will be Hank Pym, the creator of the uh and man suit and uh, uh this is because uh mainly that he he still did not uh lose hope that uh he could still find his wife uh even though uh she what we call it, uh she already lost into the quantum realm this uh this is mainly because uh thanks to Scott since he came back from the quantum realm uh, that just uh, give him hope that and maybe just maybe that uh, his wife is still alive and then mostly on how he he still he still took care of his daughter hope uh, even though without his wife around and yeah that's all uh, okay so for me my favorite character is hang and webs because i'm so impressed with their intelligence their knowledge about quantum mechanics is very vivid and in the other hand, they also shows their kindness to the goose, which is Eva, which is uh, they promise to help Eva. Uh, and after they save uh, Janet, and they truly keep uh, their promise. So yeah, that's all for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, for me, it's, it's really hard to pinpoint which character that I love. Because all of them, uh, all of them have their own unique, uh, unique traits that I love. But if I have to choose one, I have to choose Scott Lang, which is very cliche because he's the main character. But what I love about him is because he is not the typical hero in the movie because he used to be a criminal, right? Um, yeah, unlike other Marvel movies, they all have like very clean and perfect profile. Uh, one of um, like Captain Captain America was a soldier. Iron Man was a millionaire or a billionaire. I'm not sure. So yeah, Scott Lang seems very different to me because uh, yeah, he used to be a bad guy, but now um, it seems that he has repent from what he did. Uh, and I think that's a very good character development. And other characters that I love, um, maybe Hank Pym, because just like Irfan Danish said, um, even though he has lost his wife in the quantum realm, um, he still very he still loves her very dearly. Uh, to a point that even after twenty or thirty years uh, without seeing her. Um, was, uh, but he still hasn't give, given up yet. And as you can see at the end of the movie, uh, when they have re reunited, they went to a trip together, right? And I think that's very sweet to me. And I also love Louis and other other characters actually. So yeah, but if I had to choose, I love Scotland the most. Thank you. Okay, so I continue. Um... Uh, my favorite character is just um, Scott Lang because I think he's awesome. He's, he portrays his role 
very well in the movie and he made the movie become so best and so funny like um where he let the giant end uh, to do his routine which is playing the drum just to confuse the FBI at the early of the movie and at the end of the movie um the FBI come back to the house and watch in and then the FBI see um Scotland is still playing the drum and which made the FBI really like speechless they don't know what to say to Scotland and I think that is so funny moment so I think um my favorite character is Scotland that's it okay um I think that is all for today's discussion um for the first half of the video Ismahani's camera is not working and Thank you all for the discussion. Um, maybe see you guys next time. Thank you.